Of all the updates in 2021.7, this one's my favorite. This little bird has stepped on some sort of bug and its guts are attached to its foot. I have created this very basic shape of a mandible that's gonna be kind of embedded into the guts. What I'm gonna do and what I'm gonna be using is called Stager. And Stager is found under Geometry, Stager, and then we have home and target stage. I like to treat the home stage as like where I want the final result. And the target stage is outside of my mesh or pulled away, kind of separate. So since this is larger than I need it and out here away from my mesh, so it's easier to work on, I'm going to make this the target stage. And then I can, you know, get my gizmo out, push this into position and really just pose this however I want. So let's say this is where it's going to live in the final result. And then I can press home. So what did that do? That's done is. Is I can now press switch stage and it goes between this and this. Some of you look at this are like, that's stupid. What? What's the point? There's not that big a deal. To me, it's pretty awesome. I don't know if ZBrush was the first one to ever do this. I'm sure it's not. It's one of those like common sense things that makes sense, but I've never seen it anywhere else. So I think it's great. But anyways, let's say I created this mandible. I wanted to add some detail. To it. I come in here. I'm zoomed into my mesh, my character. I'm detailing. Yay, everything's good. And then I've got to check my detail. So I'm going to zoom out closer to that final composition. I would like my camera to be roughly here here i can kind of see some of that detail but not really what does that mean if i undo that look what i can do instead with the home stage and target stage set i can press switch stage this is much easier to work on than zooming all the way into something or you know selecting it framing it and working on it michael pavlovich has a great video describing this and he has a mechanical bison where there's a piece under the eye that's really really tough to get to so this is great for parts that are tedious parts that are tough to get to in this case i'm actually using it to see those details from a distance like i said i know my final shot's going to be out here so we're going to come back to that in a second let's use a small brush size and detail and detail this just like we did before i throw it down there oh wait shoot I can't see the detail. Let's undo that and let's use a bigger brush size. Just accentuate that detail a little bit. Larger brush strokes. I think you get the point. And then press switch stage, throw it back in there. I can see that detail a lot better. So it's really great for tedious parts, like I said. It is great for doing exactly this. Having roughly that final composition down and then I can just boom work on this part up close, slap it back in there, see how it works, see how it fits. And this could be changed to absolutely anything. You could scale it, move it wherever you want for any piece that you need. This is gonna be super, super helpful.